time in a long time. Here in Australia, kicking off the vlogs, back, back to getting in this YouTube mode from Noosa, Noosa, Australia, here with Active Escapes. It's a really cool company that uh, I've been fortunate to do a couple things with. We're actually training a group of people here. So fitness culture, we did two contests to train some winners out here. So we flew them all the way out to Australia to train with myself, Jake, Sonny. So we're gonna be here training with winners and then also people that have signed up for this Active Escapes. Pretty amazing here in Noosa. Obviously here in Australia, it's there. I guess it's going into springtime. They just finished up winter here. But Noosa is kind of like the almost kind of more northern part of Australia on the east coast. So it stays pretty nice here. Amazing trees, we got palm trees. We got all sorts of beautiful, beautiful beaches here. So Noosa is gonna be the place we're gonna be here for a week, training folks and just having a good time. I have a videographer coming, I've never met him. Um, gonna be super exciting, his name's Matt. And then we also have some other people that gonna help out with content. It feels weird to be vlogging again, but we're doing it. Thank you guys for watching this. I'm just saying that right now. We're gonna have a great, great time. First training session coming up here in about an hour. Oh, we got Matt. Matt showed up. He's gonna be taking care of uh, behind the, the camera. This way, behind the lens, if you will. You got good style. I feel like, I feel like, oh wait, I do have those sunglasses. <laughs> And that haircut. I'm pretty sure I've had that exact haircut before. I swear I'm not copying. No, I think I was probably copying you. Have you had it for a long time? We'll pretend that you have. Yeah. And then we got, oh, here are the contest winners. Here are the fitness culture. What's up, man? I'm Steve. Yeah, Devin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. From Pocatello, Idaho? From Virginia? Richmond, Virginia. Oh, what's, and what's your name? Brian. Brian? I like that shirt, man. What kind of shirt is that? Nike. It just came out of it. I feel like, I feel like Gymshark's kind of doing the whole Line thing. You see the line on it? The line on the top? Oh, yeah. Oh, those are the three quarter? Yeah. Uh, solid, solid style here. <laughs> so, we had the first workout in about 20 minutes. We found a little local Poke Bowl. What are you going with? Salmon. 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 It looks really good. Onions? One step. One step. Oh! Push. That wouldn't be good. Oh, Jake all of a sudden puts a hole He's in his hand. Right now we're going to look at what we have for today's workout. All of our workouts are going to be outside, nothing in the gym. So if you guys are out there traveling, maybe have access to some of this stuff, you don't have access to a full gym, um, you could be doing some of these when you travel. So we have four rounds. 90 kettlebell swings, 60 thrusters, 30 burpees, 6 hill sprints. Now here's the catch. We have a bar and a kettlebell that cannot touch the ground. So teams of three, one person does um, 90 kettlebell swings, you have to split that up between three people. So the first person does 30 kettlebell swings, the other two people are holding um, the, the bar or when we do thrusters they'll be holding the kettlebell. So pretty much always gotta be holding onto something if you never touch the ground. See how well these guys do right off the bat with this one. It should be a good kind of litmus test for people. Um, the catch is if it drops at all. If you see anyone right. set this down, actually you go into the thrusters. 20, 20, 20, 10 burpees each, one hill sprint each, and then you start back over. We do it on repeat. Yo, you'll never see a 240 pound dude doing burpees like this. Come on, come on. Atta boy, atta boy. Come on. Good work, baby. Good work, good work. I could stay awake till the night with you by my side, with you by my side. Go with all me. Some of these groups are starting to finish. The thing that we're gonna knock them down for is not being enthusiastic enough for their partners. When you're working out, when you're struggling, it's really hard to dig deep. When you got a partner there, it's a little bit easy encouraging you. Well, it's easy to do it, you know, when you're when you're not tired. It's hard to encourage someone else when you're when you're feeling tired. So that's what I want these guys to learn is to encourage their partners even when they're feeling tired. Let's go now. My man here gets the best burpee award for the day. 
Every burpee he's doing, he's getting at least a foot up. There you go. Come on. Come on. Explode. Explode. There we go. There we go. Straight to, straight to the chest. Don't take it. All right, let's bring it up. Good workout. It's a very American thing here to do. Bring it down with the chair. So I'm gonna say who has it better than us, and then you guys say nobody, okay? <laughs> Who's got it better than us? Nobody! Who's got it better than us? Nobody! nobody. Right, good work. Good work today. Well, you grab one piece of equipment. When I start competing, then it'll be Team Soldier. You just can't, you can't call, you can't be Team Soldier without this. This is Soldier, man. <laughs> First workout in the books. Everyone did really, really well. Um, I'm gonna say there's a lot of fit people on this, so I think coaching a group is a lot more difficult than just one on one because your attention needs to be everywhere. But all in all, I think people did pretty good. So right now we're gonna head to dinner. The nice thing about Active Escape is so all your meals are planned, three meals a day. Um, and then if you want, there's places around that you can go out and have an Aussie bowl, do whatever else you want to do. So it's a combination of workouts, downtime, and then activities, whether it's surfing, whether it's wakeboarding or obstacle course racing, all these different things. So you leave definitely feeling like a unit. Right now, do, do a little meet and greet, thinking orange is the new black, like they say. So rocking this. This is a Daniel Patrick top I got from LA. Yeah, but I think the, the biggest thing is when I came on the Active Escapes, just seeing how people really at the beginning of the week was kind of like, oh, you know, you had the little clicks. At the end of the week, everyone was just supporting everyone. And that was the thing today I wanted to kind of, you know, I didn't see as much as I wanted of was people supporting everyone. Like I think, you know, it's easy to come to one of these things, kind of feel in, in, intimidated, especially you know, if you're a lady out there, a ton of guys on this trip, guys, be that support system for, for somebody else who's, you know, who's pushing through something who maybe doesn't think they can do that rep or, or run that. It, things are so much better and so much easier when you have people cheering you on. So just, it's not just all about, you know, ourselves at the end of the day. It's about, you know, think of this as a team and we're only as strong as our weakest link. So help cheer everyone on when they're doing things. <laughs> <laughs> nice and rainy here at Noosa. This is morning, well, morning number one. We did a half day yesterday, so this is the first morning session we're gonna be doing. Everyone did very well yesterday. We're gonna turn it up a little bit today, go for a run, get our uh, our EMOM on today. So, you ready for this? Yep, little EMOM action. Overhead walking lunges, a real nice spicy treat designed by these two. Do we need to wake up for a minute though? Let's bring it in. Let's do a little quick check. I'm gonna yell, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. You guys yell. Alright, you Americans just follow their name. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! 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 You thought you signed up for a vacation. We're not here to take part, we're here to take over. Come on, that boy, that boy. Let's go, let's work. Come on. Come on, team. Oh, wow. 
go. So we ended up doing two more bear crawls than everyone because when you finish on burp or when you start on burpees, you got to finish on bear crawls. You've also got to go to the line. You were way short at least 10 times. I don't know what this man is talking about. He's a crazy fan that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Oi! Good evening. This is our last night here in beautiful Noosa, Australia. It's been one hell of a week, so I um, decided to come on this Active Escapes. It's been a week long, two training sessions for half of the days, uh, and then just good times, activities, wakeboarding, um, surfing, and coming to Australia to kind of get away. So my fitness level hasn't been great lately with my back, with a lot of things in life. We've talked about these things. So I've kind of been away from YouTube. This is me kind of getting back into it. And it's been really important because getting back into fitness doesn't always mean getting back into what you were doing before you left fitness. It doesn't always mean, you know, like I'm gonna go back and do bodybuilding. So this has been a kind of a good way for me to see where I'm kind of having some weaknesses um, obviously my lower back, but just more like, hey, Steve, you're out of shape. Let's take it up a notch. And for the first time in a long time, I've wanted to kind of head back to the gym and, and, and just do some awesome things um, with fitness culture, obviously with Jake um, and with just the whole crew that was on here. So this was a, a, a chance for people. I put it out on my social media, said, hey, I'm going to be going on Active Escapes. Come work out with us. Come train with us. We did two contest winners um, through fitness culture challenges. We had a uh, summer shred challenge and brought two winners out from that. And it's just been really cool to see, I don't know, just people bonding with like people that I've met at expos, a couple guys that I waited like six hours to meet me in Melbourne, Jason, he was a guy that, that told me that story. And it's just cool to hang out with, with people that, that, you know, I've met before, but also I can draw some inspiration from in a setting like this and really just have fun, work out. You know, it's all about eating healthy, although we did get a little rowdy from time to time, went out, had a few drinks, and just, you know, laying, laid back. It kind of puts a whole new perspective on things. So if you guys are, are struggling with, uh, I don't know, sometimes in life we need a break, sometimes we, we need to kind of hit the reset button. So this was my reset button, heading back to Utah with a clearer head, um, heading back actually to Vegas for the movie premiere Bigger, I just feel like I'm in a good place and have some new goals, some immediate goals that are going to be exciting to do, exciting to tackle. And really, this is an opportunity for me to kind of just clear my head, clear my mind. And I've been off YouTube, so thanks for coming back and checking this out. But I feel refreshed and ready to go. And one day, I wouldn't mind living somewhere here in Noosa. Australia, just the people here, it's so it's such an active place, an active community. Obviously, the weather lends itself to that, but the food, the surf, just I love it here. It's so, I mean, it's it's amazing. Everywhere in Australia I go is like my new favorite place. Although Melbourne will always have a special place in my heart. So, oh, it's been great. We're gonna go. We got a few more training sessions left, and. Um, some of them have been ass kickers, I'm not going to lie. We have some serious in shape people. Um, Peter, who won Australia's fittest like man through F45, he's on this. And we have some fit Americans too, so it's been real. It's been definitely been real, real. Real, real, real. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to go. Time to eat dinner. And then I'm jumping in the hot tub to soak the back. That is one thing that has just been hampering me, keeping me from living my best life. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching these videos. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, so smash the like button. And let's get back on this. Let's get back doing this. And maybe, just maybe, if we can talk my man Matt, who filmed for me down here, to move to the States. He has a girlfriend. She's finishing law school. I don't know exactly how that would happen, but let's, let's see if he'll come back. Thank you for watching.